guys, we are back, and we're back with this stupid drawing series. Uh, as you all know by now, I can't draw to save my life, but we're going to carry on drawing different Pokemon. We went in a random generator, we decided, let it generate as a Pokemon, it picked Pinsir. Now, Pinsir technically shouldn't be too hard to draw, I know what it looks like, but we're going to follow the instructions, and we're going to see what happens. The instructions, as always, will be in the comments below, so make sure you read them and have a go and submit. Post your own ones. Look, find me on Instagram or the links will all be in the description, but post them to me because I want to see I want to see you guys doing a better job than me. Anyway, this is the brief from ChatGPT. Pretty simple. There is like, I don't know, eight different steps. So quite a long one this time. There's only like four or five different steps, but it's basically going to tell us how to do it, and we're going to follow it word for word and see what we end up with. So we're getting straight down to drawing. We're going to start with step one, the basic shapes. Head and body. Draw an oval shape for the head and a larger, slightly elongated oval for the body below it. Now there is a no, he doesn't have two ovals on him, so we're going to just stick to one oval uh, because it'll look more like him with one oval. Maybe we'll do a quick one with two ovals at the end, but we'll see. Keep watching to find out. So head and body, we're going to draw the oval right now. Good. Right. We have the oval. Kind of an egg shape, which is an oval, so we're good with that. Guidelines. Draw a vertical line down the center of the head and body. So let's get a new layer in for this, and we will draw the guidelines right down the middle of the page-ish. Where did that line go? And a guideline across this way. Okay, there's nothing straight about those guidelines, but they're not even in the middle. Right, we're going to draw that second guideline again, slightly higher up. Apparently, if you bring it off the edge of the page, it doesn't do, it doesn't do it justice. Right, so the guidelines are off, but you know what? This isn't a perfect drawing. Step two. The base shape on top of the head, draw two curved lines extending upwards to form the base of Pinsir's horns. Add small curved spikes along the edges of the horns. The horns should curve inwards towards each other. Okay, so... They're not really curved inward towards each other, but hey ho, small curved spikes. Okay, so curved spikes. Really hard to uh, get the thickness on this right. I cannot change the thickness on the old iPad. There is probably a way to change it, but I am not Photoshop savvy enough to know this. Just gonna put in a few horns here and there. We need to make sure that one is connected. Right, <laughs> so we've got these little party hat horns. Eyes. On either side of the vertical guideline, draw two oval eyes, add small circle inside each eye. So we want an oval eye here, an oval eye here, two circles inside. his eyes. Mouth. Below the eyes, draw an oval shape for the mouth. Add two small curved lines at the corners of the mouth for a slight smile. So we want an oval shape in here. Like. Kind of like that, I guess. Maybe his mouth's a bit big. Along the, uh, where are we at? Below the eyes, draw an oval shape for the mouth. Add two small curved lines at the corners of the mouth. It doesn't have corners because it's an oval. It's gonna like that. Draw two large curved mandibles coming out of the sides of the mouth, pointing downwards. It's interesting that it wants it to point downwards. I don't even know what a mandible is. So it thinks. It thinks. It thinks that it has fangs coming out of the. Draw two large mandibles coming out of the sides of the mouth pointing downwards. What the heck is a mandible? Let me just do a quick Google here, guys. Mandible, it's jaws of insects. Like a pincer. Like, what? Like pincers? I guess that would make sense, being a pincer, but that looks nothing like what? Okay. Right, I see what a mandible is. I see what it's gonna, trying to get us to do. I see what it's trying to get us to do. So. Right. 
So two large curved mandibles coming out from the side of the mouth pointing downwards. So kind of like wants us to do this. Like that. Like that. And then mandibles have little points on them. I'm not sure why it's got us to draw the you know size of it, but that 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 that's fine. That's fine. Arms. Draw two thick arms extending from the side of the body. Each arm should have three segments. The shoulder, the elbow, and the hand. Right, okay. So. Shoulder, elbow, and the hand. Shoulder, elbow, and the hand. On the end can be a circle. <laughs> right. Shoulder, elbow, arm. Shoulder, elbow, arm. Circle. Okay. <laughs> Draw three sharp claws on each hand. Okay. Three sharp claws. And legs. Draw two short, thick legs extending from the body. Each leg should have three segments: the thigh, the knee, and the foot. What? Thigh, knee. Foot, I guess. Interesting. Hi. A page here. We've drawn him too big. All right, he kind of looks. And then the claws and the foot, they'd be down here, but we can't see them. So that's fine. The claws aren't that important. Body details. Add lines on the body to indicate muscle segments and joints. Right. Lines on the body to indicate muscle segment and joints. Interesting. Carefully drawing the lines, making sure everything joins up, because when we go and put colour in, they're going to run out of... Well, it'll all colour the wrong bits if it's not sealed. Some fill jobs. Dude. Plus. This is what we asked for. It's look like he's got glasses. Right. An egg with lines on it. Horn details. Refine the spikes in the horns to make them more pronounced and sharp. That's not happening. Add small curved lines in the body to give Pinsir a rugged insect te texture. What? Not going to give him that texture, but we are going to put some lines on his arms. Why his arms start really skinny, I don't know. Hey ho, and we're going to give him some lines on his legs. Good old leg lines with his dodgy knees and his dodgy feet. Okay, you know what? It kind of looks like him. So we're going to get rid of the guidelines now, which haven't helped us in the slightest. So the guidelines are gone. And <laughs> we're going to move on to colouring. Body. Colour print says a light... Colour color prints his body a light brown or tan. So let's get the colour wheel up. Right, light brown or tan, light brown, light brown. How do we get a light brown in this thing? Like that, do we think? Maybe too light. Maybe more. It's not really that colour, but you know what? I did a bang on job of um, sealing these in. Seal all of these, colour them all in. <laughs> His horns are a slightly darker brown. Are you sure? Are his horns a slightly darker brown? I don't think they are. 
Pull out the eyes black, leaving small circle white dots for the reflection. Color the eyes black. What? Like this? Guess we do this, and then do we just draw some little, little white circles on for his eyes? Like for his... Some little... That's horrifying. What colour's his mouth? Let's give him... Let's give inside his mouth black, right? I think that's probably the best thing to do. Maybe these bits are black. And then... I feel like the spikes on his horns are like a grey colour, right? I don't know why in my head gray and I feel like the spikes on his horns are gray what's the color in gray coloring his horns in gray again color it's a pointless finishing touch but zoom in So, there we have a very interesting looking pincer. Photo going up now of what he actually looks like. Uh, we're kind of far off. We're not, we're not that far off, but we are kind of far off. Chat GPT wanted us to draw it slightly differently with the two ovals. I'm not sure how I feel about the two ovals, but there he is. As I said, it's going to be down in the comments below if you want to draw it yourself. Follow the details. Please post it on Instagram. Tag me in the picture. It'd be pretty cool to see you guys do a lot better job than I ever can. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next video.